All right, I'm here late. For whatever reason, my temporary handle is not locking. I've got the new stuff on, got the clear to go ahead and put it on, so let's put it on. I think I got what I need to uh, replace the parts for the door. Let's put it in. All right, let's see the grass during the daytime. I don't know if I show it at night, but can't really see much. So here we are. <whistles> Looks like a yard. Let's go take a look around. Here is the view from the patio. So. Got the nice clean grass and then into the woods. A lot of it's been torn up from people going through, the uh, surveyors had to go through and mark spots and all that stuff. Hopefully that will thin out. You'll see in the front, a lot of trucks and things went through just to get uh, get tanks in, get the, get the concrete in, all kinds of things like that. So that's got a lot to, that's got a lot to recover from. But uh, let's go take a look at that now. Here's over at the uh, side yard. So you can kind of see the edge of the back patio over there. Side yard, we've got mechanicals over here. So your uh, propane tank, air conditioner, septic, right back over there. And then we marked off for some garden areas and then a walkway. So we'll uh, fill that stuff in. And you can see over here, we kind of lined it out. I'm hoping all this will be just natural scape much like the Yopon and things filling in over there. So we want that to fill in. You can see tracks over here. They went through over here for water and electricity and all that stuff. Um, that'll be our walkway right over here. And then over on the other side, they had a concrete truck just went in and out right over there and tore that up. And uh, they put grass down. I'll probably use some of that for behind the shop. Let's go take a look over there. So here in the driveway, you can see over here where the uh, concrete truck was coming in to fill the portion that I'm staying in. They could get over there at the entrance, but they couldn't get over here. They had to enter over there and tore up that. They put grass down. I'm going to use that over behind the shop, but they went and they filled in here. You can see I kind of made a swervy line, give it some, uh, give a little detail for garden areas and then over here they put some grass put some grass down and then we left a spot for uh for my little parking pad right there so this is the view from uh, the backyard to the house obviously the back of the house we got the woods over there i think uh, eventually we're going to put a uh, on the other side of this yo pond we're going to put a little tree house for the boys to play in and a nice little playing area here and then just grass we'll uh kind of design and figure out what we want to do later over uh behind you is the uh, about 20 to 30 feet depending on where the grass ends of trees yopon woods i wanted to keep as much woods as possible for the boys to play and explore i had to get i had to cut this much back just because of septic sprayer requirements and uh, really it wasn't as bad as it could have been. They could have made us cut back a lot more of this, but we got all these, uh, all this uh, woods and trees that is our property, and we just want to keep it woodsy like that. And uh, we'll play in there and hide and seek in there and all that good stuff. It's going to be great. <laughs> 